Black red carpets are my absolute favorite. It's Mars, the lover of all things iconic. And let's get into the 2024 NAACP Image Awards red carpet. Yara Shahidi and Maximilian Davis's Ferragamo, Spring Summer 24. This dress is like perfect on her silhouette. I love the length of the dress. I also love the cutouts. It's just the different textures of the dress. Like she really played with this dress really well. Jason ate that up. One of my favorite looks of the night is from Kyla Pratt, who is in Letha Hoya. I think I'm saying it correctly. Um, but this dress is just so elegant and perfect on her. And what really warms my heart, because Kyla hosted the red carpet, is that all of the celebrities are like coming up to her and just giving her her flowers because Kyla Pratt is really like one of the first black girls that we saw on TV for a lot of people. Um, so for her to get that reverence and respect, it's just a so hard woman. And for her to just look so elegant, absolutely love this. 10 out of 10. Kiki Palmer in a time for a blazer with Dolce & Gabbana pants. The top will keep an automatic chop for the bottom. Eva Marcel and Balcony Shane Peacock, and this is a chop for me. It's just a lot going on. Like, it's very much overkill and needs a high edit. It also needs some tailoring. Like, it seems like this look is, like, drowning her body. As you can see, Eva has lost quite a bit of weight. So, I don't know. I just wish that this was tailored to her new body a bit more. Favorite look of the night would definitely have to be Usher and Laquan Smith Fall Winter 24. This is perfection. And Laquan Smith, his suits are very much tailored and they usually have like this like androgynous effect. So for Usher to put this on and like bring this masculine edge to it, but also play within the androgyny, absolutely living for it. The oversized lapels on the suit just really elevates the entire thing for me. And then the high waisted trouser, I, I can go from top to bottom and everything is going to be a 10 out of 10 for me. Sabrina Elbert and Versace Fall Winter 2001. And Kimbino put her foot on you house neck because y'all said she couldn't pull this dress. So she made it her mission to do so. And I will say Sabrina looks absolutely stunning in it. The way that the shade of the brown matches her complexion perfectly. Like it's given new dress, but it's not a new dress. Like I'm living for this. Just ever looking fine in the suit like he always does. Juni Ambrose and Marc Jacobs Fall Winter 23. Love this dress on Juni Ambrose and I like this minimalist pared down look on her because she usually gives us a bit much on the carpet which works for her but this minimalist like pared down look also works for her as well. Loving the elegant and regalness of it all. Quinta Brunson and Naheem Khan and it's all right. It's not a shot for me, but I'm just not excited about it at all. It's just not doing enough for me. Like, there definitely should have been some attention paid to the neck. Like, I feel like a necklace would have, like, elevated the look a bit. Also, the earrings. I don't know. It's just not enough of accessories and jewelry, like, making the look elevated for me. Harry Washington and Vivian Westwood. And what I love most about this look is that it falls in line with her personal style. This is what Carrie gives us. A very simple, elegant look. And I love this green on her complexion. The train has also elevated the look a bit for me. The corseted, the bony in and how it's like pushing up her cleavage. Just showing just enough of cleavage. Very much Vivian Westwood coated. I'm Janine Ellis Taylor and Custom Javonna Lewis. And this is a chop for me. The color from head to toe is just doing a bit much of overkill. Love the silver pump at the bottom though you ate that and your face looks impeccable you're one of my favorite actresses so i hate to chop you but girl this is enough for me hallie bailey and nicole and felicia couture love this look on hallie love the green on her complexion also love the details in the top of the dress and how it just flows into the bottom of the dress this is a very cohesive look very simple very much elegant very much what hallie needs to give at the NAACP awards Leslie Jones, not sure who she's wearing, but this is definitely a step in the right direction compared to her last red carpet look. Do wish that the top of the dress, that fabric flow throughout the dress just to elevate the look a bit more, but this is cute for Leslie. Fantasia and Custom no. This white dress is perfect for Fantasia silhouette. I do wish that we lost the opera gloves. I just think that the dress and the silhouette and the tailoring of it all is just doing all of the work that it needs to do and all of the extraness is not needed. But other than that, she looks phenomenal. She P. Henson and Dale Cor with Bulgari Jewels and it's an okay look. I'm just not a huge fan of this dress in general. If we're talking Bulgari Jewels, there's definitely better options to fit the tone of the look. Look at A Fox and S.A. Azanzibar. It's a chop for me, baby. It's just, what is going on? I just don't quite understand any of the look. I don't know why she's carrying this Balenciaga purse. It does not fall in line with the look at all. And this look is just, it's very dramatic and over the top. And Vivica is just not carrying it. I don't know if anybody can carry this look. I just don't care for it. 
Andre Day wearing Lean Calm, giving us old Hollywood glamour. This blue against her complexion is absolutely gorgeous. The dress in itself, I don't particularly care for it, but it's not a bad look at all. Notori and Marquesa Fall 1 to 23. This dress looks stunning on her frame. I do wish that it was tailored a bit better towards her bust area, like in the front and the back, but she looks elegant. She looks elevated and she looks very much like in her prom. Shirley Ralph and Georgia's Obika, and every time Cheryl steps on a red carpet, her style just seems to be elevated more and more. Ivy Coco, her stylist, who is also her daughter, like the chemistry that they have and finding looks that makes Cheryl feel great on the red carpet, seems to get better and better. I absolutely love this green yellowish tone against her skin. It really makes her look a bit younger. Aja, Naomi King, and Alberta Ferretti. Aja is always going to give us a minimalist, pared down, simplistic look, but I always seem to love it. The way she carries it, it just fits her style and her energy. My own only know is that I wish the hair was pulled up, pulled back, and a bob. Something that doesn't interfere with the neckline of the dress because I feel that that's an important aspect of the dress. It really makes the look. It's kind of like the hair is blocking a little bit. Ryan Destiny, not sure who she's wearing, but she looks stunning all the time. All the time, gorgeous, gorgeous girl. Megan Good and Jonathan Majors. And as a collective, I'm going to give this a shot. Like, the dress is not doing it for me for Megan. And this shoe on Jonathan Majors is so long and scary. Like, what is going on there? Can you imagine being kicked with that shoe? Baby, no. India and Tolu Choco Fall Winter 21. Initially, when I saw this look, it was giving me very much Vivian Westwood, but I really, really like it. Now, I love how the bottom of it kind of wraps around. I love the exposed shoulders at the top. I love how the hat is in sync. Like, this is definitely a mono look that works. Shoe, however, I don't like the shoe. I wish it was just a simple shoe that was just one color, one fabric, just because the look is just doing so much in itself. Nicole Bahari and Peggy Hartano. Initially, when I first saw this dress, I was like, mm, I don't like like it but the more and more I sat with it and just got into the whole look of it all this really fits her personal style and I really love this look on her the bangles really elevate the look for me the red lip the hair is doing just enough the earrings everything is just pulled together so nicely Tashina Arnold and Kobe Halperin I like this white suit on her I love the details it's like very much giving rhinestones all over the look and I just think that elevates the look it makes it a lot of fun love the exposed cleavage the bowl cut at the top it's just Give me what I need. All in all, I would say the girls did what needed to be done for the NAACP Image Awards. Love to see it. Let me know your favorite or not so favorite look in the comments.